What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzy the Gifted. What we do on this podcast is we do a brand new audio episode every single day, documenting my journey as an independent musician and also giving you tips and tricks so that you can actually build an income and build a life out of being a musician, all right? So if you're on YouTube watching this right now, subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you're listening to the audio version right now, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe to the pod and share it with a friend. So what we're gonna be talking about today is we are gonna be talking about Instagram for musicians. Now, we are not gonna do a full 360 degree view of Instagram right now. What we're gonna talk about is one minor piece of it, which is how to use certain features on Instagram to actually benefit you. We're probably gonna tie in a little bit about your content strategy very lightly. We're not gonna, again, not a 360 degree view. We're just take, tackling one little bit at a time. We're probably, I might make this into a whole series, not sure right now, but the idea of it came to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do an intense training. Now, you're on YouTube watching, you see I got the whiteboard. If you're listening to the audio version, don't worry if you can't see the whiteboard because you're only listening to the audio, you will be able to, I'm gonna translate, it'll work. Like, I'm gonna do it, but you're gonna hear everything. You'll be like, okay, I get it, got it? So don't be like, oh no, he's got a whiteboard and I'm walking right now, I'm not watching the YouTube video. Don't trip, it's okay, don't worry, okay? So, all I wanna talk about right now is the foundation. Okay, so like every social media platform, website, technology, whatever, everything has features to it and that certain platform wants you to use their features and every feature is ranked differently, okay? So like on Instagram, right, we've got likes, we've got comments, Likes, comments, um, we've got saves, we've got DMs. These are in no particular order, by the way. We've got DMs, um, likes, comments, saves, DMs. I think we, we you could even say share, share to story. I'll say that. I'll just say share to story. Share the story, yeah. So let's just start with that, okay? And I, and I would actually have to probably say if we were to rank these by importance, we'd probably go, we'd probably go, like DMs is probably the best piece of engagement you can get. So we're gonna, in fact, we'll do this. So we're gonna rank these from the top is, I'm sorry, the top is gonna be the least important, the least quality piece of engagement, the bottom will be the most. So the least quality piece of engagement is a like, right? Then you've got a save, then you've got a comment. Or no, then, I'm sorry, you have a share to story. Then you've got a comment. Then you've got, uh, then you've got a DM, right? So if you're listening to the audio, the least, th and you just kind of think like the amount of effort it takes for somebody to like something, is not a lot of effort. You just double tap. That is that that holds less weight. So what we're basically trying to do is Instagram's trying to figure out does your piece of content make people want to stay on Instagram longer? Yes or no. That's the question you have to answer. So Instagram ranks all of these things. Like if, if somebody likes your stuff but doesn't comment, that person didn't engage with your content as much. Does that make sense? So likes are cool, but they're not as good as someone saving the post, but that's not even as good as somebody writing real words. You know what I mean? And longer comments means somebody's staying on your piece of content longer. And as crazy as it sounds, you kind of have to think in milliseconds. If somebody spends one second on your post as opposed to one and a half seconds on your post, that's better. That's a significant difference. I know it sounds kind of weird. It sounds like we're splitting hairs, but that's really how it works. What That's the game we're playing. So the question then becomes, how do we get people to perform these actions? How do we get someone to like? How do we get someone to save? How do we get someone to share it to their story? Like share it to their story and tag you, 
right? So that their fans see it. How do we get someone to write a comment? How do we get someone to DM us? DMs are the best way. So the DMs are the best way to increase your engagement. Here's how it works too with DMs, okay? If you, so, so when you post something, when you post, Instagram is going to basically take your post and share it to a small, like almost like a test group. It's gonna share it to people that follow you, okay? And if that post performs well to those people, it will share it to more people. That's the way it works. It's like a little like, uh, like it starts like it'll like, so you make a post, right? You know, uh, post. You'll make your post, your post, right? Here's your post. Maybe you've got you in it. There's your post. Okay, Instagram is gonna show it to a little bit of people, a small group of people. If it does well, I meant to do a check mark. If it does well, it'll show it to a little bit bigger group of people. If it does well, it'll show it to an even bigger group of people. And the goal is we wanna to get to that explore page, right? This is the explore page, let's say that. That's the explore page, right? That's where we really wanna get people. So now, when you go from posting it to actually getting your people to, like, you wanna get these people here to perform these actions. How do you get people to perform these actions? Well, each one of those these things is something different. Like a like it means like nothing. Like people just go through Instagram and double tap every post they see. So if I were you, I, I wouldn't say not to think about likes, but like you just have to have something that looks aesthetically pleasing. It has to be high quality. It needs to be like a good looking picture or video. Boom, there's a like. Saves. Like if, if you want someone to save your post, I want you to psychologically think, why would somebody save my post? Generally, because your post is something that they want to see later. Why would somebody want to see your post later? It's probably helpful, it's probably educational. For example, an infographic, right? You guys know what infographics are? Infographic is like, it's a post and it's got like, five tips for producers and it's got like all these different little tips on it. I posted a lot of infographics on my page. If you want to refer, you can go to Instagram at Lizzie the Gifted or you could go to prism.hq. He's got great infographics. Um, but you can look at infographics. People save those. Okay. And they're good tips. They're jam packed with quality. So that's got to save. Share the story. Why would somebody want to share your post to their story? Does that make sense? I generally like to share motivational stuff. Like if somebody like Legion Gabe um, will, will that, that's uh, Gabe Schillinger from Legion Beats, he will like have these little pictures of him and like a really inspirational quote. I'll throw that up on my story. You know what I mean? That's shareable content. Um, now, a comment. For me personally, the way I get comments, people who comment on my posts generally, are people I've talked to a lot already. I don't usually get a lot of cold comments, cold being like I don't know who this person is. Like most of the people who comment on my posts, I've shared some kind of DM or interaction with them. I might even have their phone number. Like I have a lot of people's phone numbers who uh, follow me on Instagram. So that's how I get, like you'll look on my Instagram posts and I don't have like an exceptional amount of likes and not even a high quantity of comments. But if you look at some of my comments, you're like, oh damn, this person left a paragraph on his post. That's kind of how it goes with me. And then DMs. How do you get people to DM you? Okay. You get people to DM you, you can start the DM conversation. You know what I mean? So for me, like, when I give people tips on growing on DMs, so like I have a bunch of people I'm coaching right now. I have a couple producers. I've coached local businesses. I've coached rappers on Instagram, right? Um, when you're spending time on Instagram, it should not be, you know, scrolling for entertainment. You should be spending time DMing people, okay? Spend time DMing them, okay? And it could be DMing anybody, DMing, an, I'm not a huge fan of DMing ginormous influencers, 
but I'm a fan of DMing like micro influencers and, and, and even just people at your level. That's good. You want those DMs because when people DM, okay, so let me explain to you why we want these things to happen. We want the likes, the saves, we want all that stuff to happen because Instagram will, sh- will that first wave of engagement, when you, when you make a post, that first wave of engagement, Instagram is sending it to people you've already interacted with or they've interacted with you. Let me say that one more time. That's really the key to this. Instagram will send your post out, not send it directly, but show it to people you've already interacted with or have interacted with you. And all these things like save, share to story, comment, DM, those are interactions. Some of them are more powerful. So a DM is more powerful than a like. So what should we be focused on? DMs. We should be focused on comments, comments and DMs. Those are the things you want to be doing. Does that make sense? And you want people to do that on your on your stuff. Now, in my opinion, the DM is not even close. DMs are the easy, it, it's crazy. It's actually really cool. DMs weigh the most, as in this is the most important piece of engagement and it's the easiest piece of engagement to get. Why? Because if you DM someone, they'll DM you back. Does that make sense? Liking someone's post doesn't mean they'll like it back. Even commenting, even saving, because when you save someone's post, they don't see that you saved it. They don't get a notification that, you, that they saved your post. So you don't know who saves your posts. So you can't interact with them back. Does that make sense? It's tough, right? Comments too. Comments are great, but a comment doesn't mean they're gonna comment back. Although, it's likely that if you comment on someone's posts all the time, they'll probably comment back. But a DM, if you if you think like it's a person between one to ten thousand followers, they'll they'll probably DM you back, and that's and you're thinking, well, that's a small account, it's only a thousand followers. I shouldn't be focused on little accounts. Wrong. The more people that you have looking at you, it's gonna help when you make that post and you want to get that first wave of people to see your post. The more people that see that first wave, it's gonna push it to the next wave and the next wave all the way to the explore page. So there is a little bit of a quantity and a quality thing. So spending a lot of time in the DMs is super important because when you make posts, that person's gonna see your post and they're like, oh yeah, that's the dude who DM me, I'm gonna hit his post up, I'm gonna like, or her post, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna comment, whatever it is, right? So when we're talking about, you know, and and, and I guess to get into content a little bit, I don't wanna get super deep, because content is is a whole nother beast. This, Right here, the foundation of how stuff works, that already is enough for you to digest. But talking about content, um, there's certain content that ranks better. Okay, so I'm gonna erase some of this stuff. So there's types of content. Um, You know, and I'm not gonna get deep into it, but like, you know, there's pictures, there's videos, there's IGTV, there's reels, there's Instagram stories, there's Instagram lives, those were all the pieces of content, right? Did I miss any? Oh, carousel posts, you know? I'm not gonna talk about how to utilize each one of those, but all I'm gonna say is each one ranks a certain way. So like a single picture, one picture, is not gonna rank as well as a carousel post where you know it has the little blue dots and you swipe it to see the rest of the post. That ranks really well. That ranks really, really, really well, right? So. I think in the next, what we'll do in the next episode, the next video, is we'll talk about types of content and how they rank compared to the types of engagement. Okay, so let's go over this one more time. There is a ranking to the types of engagement that you get on Instagram. The least important is the like, and then saves, then shared a story, then a comment, then a DM. By the way, I'm gonna be 100% completely transparent. I don't know 100% if a save isn't as good as a share to story. I'm not sure. Like I don't have that exact. I know for sure though a DM is w- going to weigh a lot more than a like. There's no question. A DM is more important than all of these. I know that for sure. But like is a save better than a share to story? I don't know like 100%. Like it's something like this. This is kind of a rough. It's just to get your mind going. If you really want to know more, you can go Google like which one it is. But this ranking system of DMs weighs the most and comment. It pretty much is, you know, basically the idea I got across to you and hopefully you're going to understand more of is you need to be sending more DMs. Definitely need to be sending more DMs. Um, Oh my God. And of course a follow, right? Like no question. You know, a follow is important, but I would argue 
that a DM probably weighs more than a follow because a DM takes more effort. You literally just have to think of it like that. Stop looking at which numbers you want the most and start thinking, well, which one takes more effort? Which takes more effort for you to do this or for you to do this? For those of you listening to the episode, I'm twiddling my thumbs. Which one takes more effort for you to click the follow button once or for you to type out an entire message? For you to type out an entire message takes longer and it takes more effort. That weighs more than a follow. So when people are like, oh, I want more followers, you're clout chasing. You're looking at a va- vanity metric. It doesn't even matter how many followers you have. It doesn't. Because that's not an, to, to click follow doesn't take any effort. But to send a DM, that takes effort. Plus, you can get fake followers, right? You can get literally buy followers. You can't really buy DMs. You can have automated DMs sent out, but you can't buy, you can't go to a service and say, I want 10 DMs and then 10 accounts DM you. You can't do that. You have to actually get real people. DMs are still kind of pure. People do copy paste. You know, obviously there's a piece of it that's a little bit fake, but not as much as like likes. You can buy likes, you can buy comments, you can buy followers. You can't buy DMs. It's pure. You can, yeah, like I did I say buy followers? Yeah, I did say that. That's why follow isn't as valuable as a DM, but it was another metric that I wanted to talk about, right? I hope this helps. Um, if it does, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, leave a rating and leave a review. By the way, if you want to really learn how to dominate on Instagram and just social media in general, and you wanna learn how to actually utilize all the tools to your advantage, but you kind of are stuck and you kind of need some personalized help and you feel like you need some specialized help for your situation, guess what? I'm here to help. Below in the description of this on YouTube and podcast, there's a link to my Calendly where you can book a call with me for free. Book that call with me and I can try to help you. Not even try, I definitely will be able to help you with the Instagram stuff and beyond. All right, so let's get started working together because I know from years one through, frick, I'm in year 10 right now. So from years one through eight, it was a lot of like, oh my God, like what do I do? I need some specialized help. And from years eight and 10, I've been like really figuring this stuff out and I've been able to really help. I just on Sunday met up with Legion Gabe and I got to talk to him for four hours and I was like, oh my God, specialized help is so undervalued. Like if you think, that you're gonna watch this and dominate Instagram, you're not gonna dominate Instagram from this one video. And you're not gonna dominate Instagram from all those other videos over there. Or it's either on the left or the right, wherever the related, you're not gonna dominate Instagram watching videos. You need help, specialized, for your situation. If you're a musician, a rapper, a producer, or a singer-songwriter, and you're looking to actually build something out of your, like, build something out of your career, like, Opportunity is knocking right now. All you have to do is book that call 15 minutes. Got it? So, thank you so much. I'm super excited to continue doing more stuff like this. I love whiteboarding. It's super fun. So, thank you so much for tuning in and watching and or listening. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.